Hi, I'm Adam Culp and you're at BeachCast. Today we're going to share a Laravel model factory tutorial using the artisan make model command. So stick around and we'll get right on that. Welcome back. To learn how to be a better developer and make better web applications, start now by subscribing to BeachCast and make sure to click the bell so you won't miss anything. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a comment about it. Afterwards, go to the website and subscribe to my newsletter so you'll be updated with everything I'm doing right here at BeachCast. And please make sure to like the video by clicking the thumbs up button. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. We started off the last video by creating the auth and getting that up and running. Now, remember we did have a database uh, partially created. It was a database that I previously used in some expressive videos. So I, uh, so I kind of repurposed that. So we're gonna have to make some changes in order to get ready for, for what we're gonna do today. First off, let me go ahead and get into uh, get into the docker terminal so to do that i need to execute the shell from within the docker container so go ahead and do that and that dumps me inside the docker container so now i can see all my project files here okay so we're there now i need to do a little bit of cleanup because again we have this database i'd already created the announcements table previous in an, the expressive uh, tutorials but for i want to go ahead and drop that table now because as part of today we're going to create the model and create the table and, and everything to go along with that announcements table so i'm going to go ahead and drop it and issue the command and we'll see that sure enough over here in the database panel the announcements table is now gone uh, now to to start with we want to create make migration and what we want to do is we want to uh, name this migration create announcements table and we're going to pass the command into that of create announcements or the flag rather create announcements okay so i'm going to go ahead and issue that command now it'll create the migration for us now keep in mind it's not going to run that migration all it's doing is creating the migration and you'll see that it put a timestamp on the beginning of the the migration and it named it according to what we just asked for create announcements table We'll see that we actually have the migrations, uh, uh, the migration there. Um, now, prior, I want to edit this because if we look at it, we see that it doesn't really carry all the different columns that we want in our announcements, um, and so I, I want to be able to edit that. Now, since I created that within my Docker container, it was created with the root user, and uh, and of course. Uh, we have to change some permissions on that in order for us to be able to edit it so i so i told uh, i i changed the owner of it to be the um to be the web server so that way we can access it so now getting back into there let's take a look at this uh so we have it's creating the id column with big increments it's also creating the timestamps now timestamps is uh, what it does is it creates the updated at and the created at but uh, we need to create some additional fields so after the big increments another field that i want to create in the announcements table is a sort column i want to be able to sort the announcements so Let's go ahead and issue the issue the command needed to create an, an integer field. And we want to name that field sort. OK, so now we have that. Now, <clears throat> by default, it's not going to populate that with anything or it's going to create whatever is in the database. Uh, and that's what we're going to specify here. So let's add in a default. And as a default value, I'm going to go ahead and put in 10, the integer 10. So 10 is going to be my default uh, sort for, for any announcements created. 
Uh, another thing we want to do is we want to add in, of course, the content for the announcement itself. So we're going to do table uh, and this is going to be text. We want it to be a text field. And and of course, the, the content is content. All right. So now we've got our content field. Uh, we also want to create in uh, now in this table. Uh, in the application, we also have uh, an is admin field to, to double check whether this announcement should be made to admins only or whether it should be made to everybody. So let's go ahead and add in another integer field. Another integer field is admin. Now, by default, of course, we we uh, want this to, to not be admin. So I'm gonna put in a zero because the is admin field is a, is a Boolean. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the other column. The other integer column is, is active. So that way we can see if the announcement should be kept active or not. And we want to add in a default value of one because we want announcements to be active by default okay so now we've added in these columns into our migration so it's going to create the announce announcements table it's going to have the uh big increments of id it's going to have an integer field of for sort it's going to have the text which is the content and also two flags one for his admin one for his active and and the timestamps. All right, so that finishes out our migration. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now, now that we've created our migration, we need to run it. We need to, uh, we want to add that table back into our database. So I'm gonna go back to the terminal inside the Docker container and I'm gonna issue the command php artisan and migrate. Uh, now, of course, if we go into our database and we look at the migrations table, we can see that there's two migrations that have been run in the past, the create users and the create passwords. Uh, in this case, I'm going to run migrate and now it's not going to run those migrations because they've already been run. They're already in the migrations table. So I'm going to issue that command and then it runs the table. It says it's migrating and then it says it migrated. Now, if I refresh the table here, we can see that I do actually have a value now. It ran the announcements migration that we just created. And if I refresh the database, then we now have our announcements table. I can expand that out and I can see that it's got all the columns that we just created. However, the, the, the table is empty at this point. There's no data in it whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. Now that we've now that we've done that migration, uh, we've got our table. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a model so that our application can interact with that table. So I'm going to go ahead and, and again, I'm going to use artisan. We're going to do PHP artisan and we're going to do make model and we're going to we're going to use a factory for the model. Yeah make factory and we're going to call it announcement announcement all right so php artisan make model factory announcement okay and what it did is it actually created the model and created the factory if we expand our app directory we now see that there is an announcement dot php there we can click on that and we can see that there is the model now it's empty at this moment there's not there's not anything in there um, but it does exist. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to generate uh, some random data. So that way we'll be able to test and, and have a way to, to add extra data. So we, we can specify that in our factory, the new factory. So if we expand out database factories and we click on the factory, we see that the factory's here. Uh, however, at the moment it's empty, right? the the, the it, it's it's empty in our database factories and we want to be able to put information in here so to do this we're going to uh, add in our fields to be populated and 
So what we want to do is this. So, so I'm going to add in the fields. What we're doing is we're populating sort and we're going to randomly using Faker, we're going to randomly populate that with a number between one and 5,000. And then we're going to fill in the content by again, using Faker, we're going to put in a sentence and sentence and uh and then we're going to use is admin and is active we're going to populate that using faker with boolean values and we're just going to uh, put in a, a 50 50 chance of it being a one or a zero and the same thing for is active all right so we've got now we've got our our, our factory ready to create fake data for us now the way that we create fake data is we need to create a cedar cedar s-e-e-d-e-r so uh so we're going to do that again using artisan so we're going to issue the command php artisan make cedar and we're going to call that cedar announcement announcements uh table cedar okay so we're going to create the cedar and call it that so let's go ahead and do that. So we created it. It says it successfully created the cedar. Uh, we're going to, of course, uh, set the permissions so that way we can edit it because we do need to now go into the announcements table cedar and we need to add in uh, information into our run. You'll see that it is a class. There's a, there's a public function called run, but it's not really doing anything. Now, what we want it to do is we want it to use the announcement uh, model to create some data. So we're going to put in here, uh, we're going to have it run factory. Oop. Uh, factory. And in the factory we're going to use app announcements class and what we're going to do is we're going to pass an extra argument to this the number five and the second argument says how many records to create okay so it's going to use the announcements model and create five records for us so, and we want to issue the command create to tell it to actually create. Okay, so now we've, it's going to run that whenever we kick off this cedar. Uh, now, in order to kick off the cedar, we're going to use the migrate feature or the functionality to do that, but we need to add it into the, the main database cedar. So we're going to do that. We're going to add in this row here and we're going to do call and we're going to tell it to use announcements table cedar just like that and that is now going to the next time we call it call the uh next time we call artisan and migrate and tell it to use to address the seeds it's going to create that for us and that's what we're going to do now now that we've added this into the run from the database cedar we can now issue the command and say php artisan migrate oop, migrate and we want it to seed right now we could run the migrations in in uh, as well but we're just going to run the seed this time so issue the command and it says that it uh, there was nothing to migrate however it did do seeding of the uh, the one that we left uncommented here you notice there is user table cedar here we could have done that as well but in this case we only did the announcements table cedar now if i go back to the database uh, uh that we requested earlier let's refresh this and we'll see that i did in fact get my five records back and you'll see that the is admin and the active are kind of a 50 50 chance of whether it was one or zero and some of them are admin some of them are active and so we've got our, our data retrieved there. Now, another way that I could have retrieved this data um, is by using Tinker. So Tinker is, is, uh, is a command that we can call up through Artisan as well. 
So I'm gonna clear and we want to do PHP artisan tinker. And by doing that, it brings up a tinker shell prompt. And, and in there we could issue a command, for instance, of announcement, announcement first. Oop. first and it would go out and get the database record for us from the announcement model uh, alternatively we could have issued something like all and then it would return all the records in our database using tinker so so those are just some basics of using tinker to validate what we just did and that's all I had for you today. I hope you found this useful. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about being a web developer and also, uh, also give us a, a comment and let us know what you thought of the video. Uh, also, let me know if you have uh, any problems doing this uh, or if you have any questions or, or maybe even uh, some wish list items that you might want me to create videos of in the future. Thank you for coming. Take care.